as Bohol reels from the effects of the deadly tremor that hit the province on Tuesday. Government agencies and relief organizations rushed to aid those affected by the quake. But allegations of selective distribution has marred relief operations in the municipality of Maribohok. Our correspondent Ben Teshorna reports to us on the phone to tell us more. Hi Ben, go ahead. Nancy. Maribohok Mayor Leon Choi Vasco Jr. denied he was selective, playing favorites with his political allies in the distribution of relief goods in his town. At the same time, he criticized Philippine Red Cross Chair Richard Dick Gordon for his, quote, dictator-like style of distributing relief goods. Earlier, the PRC claimed Mayor Vasco drove them out of Maribohok while they were distributing relief goods. The PRC added that Vasco wanted the PRC to turn over the goods to the local government for distribution. The PRC ruled out turning over the goods to local government units as it is against the rescue organization's policy. In an interview over the XRP Radio ng Bayan Davao Tuesday morning, Mayor Vasco said he has nothing against the PRC as an organization. He said he is thankful that the Red Cross is helping feed his constituents. Vasco explained, though, that the distribution of goods by the PRC in his town has disenfranchised a lot of victims since it was not systematic. Mayor Vasco said he could not play politics since he's already on his last term as mayor. He added that at times like this, his town do not need enemies as he appealed to all those who wanted to help his people to also respect victims and treat them humanely. Mayor Vasco also thanked the Dutertes for their aid to Maribohok and the rest of Bohol and some parts of Cebu. Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte flew into Maribohok on Sunday and personally gave the 1 million peso check to Mayor Vasco. Duterte also distributed 500,000 pesos to each of the 25 quake-affected towns and cities in Bohol and Cebu. Mayor Vasco served as Duterte's city administrators, administrator for almost a decade before returning home to Maribohol. Nancy? All right, thank you. Ben Teshorna for that report on the phone.